that um, I've discovered the pathway of creating the structure, and that is a, a great energy loss that we have in our country, and that's by um, exposed concrete foundations, uh, an oversight and design, and that's my job is to design better, and so I'm presenting uh, solutions for this new architecture. And what is the structure? Is it this right here that he's holding, or what, is, what exactly is this? This is an early element. Uh, there's a, a history to this. I didn't start off creating a new architecture. I created a new fence, a curving fence that goes around trees and over hills with a curving structure. Eric, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is a uh, basically a two by four that I restructured into a curved element. And so this inspired me to uh, create a fence that would last twice as long as any other fence and how I designed it. And then I turned an element on edge and then it all of a sudden became architectural to me. And from that point forward, I've been thinking, well, there are so many things that can be done with the arc. Uh, you go to the store, you buy two by fours and plywood that's all square and, and true. Uh, we've gotten away from the curve and the arc. And so along my path of design, I have mastered the arc. Uh, I have done patenting in order to, uh, to create a toy that will actually help us all to envision what the future will look like. I alone can create structures that uh, would look great and, and for me to build and create that one structure, uh, that's not what, not what I'm doing. What I'm doing is I'm creating a, uh, a structure that others can utilize to develop and devise on their own. Uh, and this is what I'm introducing here, what I'm calling future toy and tool. So. Uh, this all is a new business, and uh, my methodology in order to create this uh, new system is through crowdfunding, which is a very popular way, but this crowdfunding is also a crowd ownership methodology. And where I grew up, where I was inspired early on, where behind that glass wall over there, I created some fluid structure that I'm conceiving now was with me then. And so I'm following through and bringing it back home and then I'm taking my message to Dallas where I spent 20 years for building furniture and, and uh, crafting there. So uh, I'm just, just coming back and then going forward again and explaining where I've been for the last nine years. So how big is this toy? Is it the toy is going to be miniature. Uh, consider this. Uh, these, this comes apart in two pieces. Uh, this could be uh, a two-inch or a, a four-inch piece of, of plastic. And so uh, it's, it's in development now. And so why um, is this, you know, you're, it's a toy for kids, is that, is that correct? Or? Children and grown-ups alike. There will be versions that are going to be very professional, even for an architect. Uh, if I'm designing for an architect, uh, he needs to be able to have the, uh, the look and an item that is very uh, functional for him to present to his client. And so it's a whole new way of thinking and a new way of crafting and uh, the whole process. I've devised over a long time and I'm looking forward to the start with the toy. So it's not a toy like um, you know, like a race car or like a doll or anything like that, right? It can be. It can be? Wow. It can be whatever you want. That's the, that's the cool part of this toy. It's a toy and tool, uh, a toy for play, certainly. So you can do what, whatever you want to and create a particular shape or a form or a Whatever your imagining wants, this toy will be able to help fashion or refashion, sort of like Lego pulls apart, this will pull apart and, and refashion. But it's also a tool that uh, more professional or more refined design, uh, you can add to it, take away from it, uh, refine it as you go along.
Do you have any questions yet? Uh, Lauren, and real bit, just as far as the background, what were some of the schools you went to? Did you, uh, Joan said you went to Randolph. Did you go to Boswell then, or what? Uh, I started at, um, uh, it wasn't Stout, it was, um, you just escaped me. Okay, excuse me. Uh, before Stout, Randolph? Well, no, Randolph was after Stout. Um, Not Central Park. Uh, no, it was off of, um, I apologize. <laughs> uh, it was, it's probably not there in existence anymore. Uh, nonetheless, Stout, Randolph, Boswell, Topeka High, Kansas State. That's where I, I finalized my, my education. And so um, when I think of that first school, I'll let you know. <laughs> so um, it's going to sound it's going to sound weird. I always like to preface before I ask this question. Why should people care? Why should people care? Well, we care about this now. We care about energy. We care about the loss of energy, the, the waste of energy. Mm -hmm. I care about this because uh, I want to make the world better, more beautiful. And I think uh, we, we need to really start focusing on the future and part of my vision towards it better architecture is taking us ahead 42 years uh, to the year 2060 and that's part of my story. Uh, I have some elements that in animation and uh, story will take us there. I call it the time drone. So uh, this is all a play in life, uh, an experience in uh, design uh, what our capabilities are. I think we need to expand our capabilities as much as as we can. And then um, your official title, are you architect or you, what do you want to call yourself? Uh, designer, <laughs> you call yourself? artist, and fine craftsman. All right. Turned to mentor. Oh, look at that. A lot of hyphens there. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Any more questions? Thank you, Lord. Appreciate it.